Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting problem and it is a very good problem because we will learn a lot of things. We will learn how to do full auto join and how to handle nulls because in full auto join you have to deal with a lot of null values. So a lot of people were asking me about this that how to handle null values and also a lot of people were asking that when to use which join. So we will cover all those things. So very important video was still end. I'm sure you will like it. Okay, so the question is find the change in employee status. So we have employee status for each year. So this is for 2020 and this is for 2021. So these are two input tables and this is output table. So the question is we have to tell that which employee status have changed, which employees have promoted, which employees have resigned and which are the new employees when moving from 2020 to 21. So for example, if you see employee ID 1 was trainee and now he is developer. So this person is promoted, right? If you see promoted again, employee ID 2. Employee ID 2 is developer and here also developer. This we don't want to see in the output. We only want to see the changes. Wherever there is a change, we want to see. So we don't want 2 in the output. Now look at 3. 3 is again from uh, senior developer to manager. Right? So this person is also promoted. Now if it look at 4, this, this person is no more in 2021. So the, in the output, we said uh, this person has resigned. And if you see employee ID 5 was not there in 2020 and 21, so this person is new. So this is the output we have to bring from these two tables. I hope question is clear. So now if you see, I need data from both these two tables, right? Now, why I need to do full auto join? So if I do inner join, what will happen? Okay, also let me put it here. What are the employee IDs in output? 1, 3, 4, 5 right so these four employee ids should be in the output right now if i do inner join what will happen if i do inner join an employee id so employee id 1 2 and 3 will come right and we will lose sight of 4 and 5 right because 4 and 5 are not common so this will not work right inner join will not work because we will not have 4 and 5 in output we will have only 1 2 3 so that's why we cannot use inner join if I use lab join, then all the records from this table will come 1, 2, 3, 4. So in output, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, but 5 will not be there. So that is again a problem. That will not work, right? If I do a right join, being this as a right table, then again 1, 2, 3, 5 will come, 4 will not come. But in our output, we need 4 also, right? Again, this is a problem. So only if we do full auto join, all the records will come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have to find a way to just filter out this employee ID 2 and, and derive this command column, right? So let's start. So I will say select star from EMP. I am aliasing it as E20. Pull out a join. E21, E21. On, I have to join on employee id right so let's see after full auto join what is the output and then we work towards the driving this comment column so i will say e20 dot star comma e21 so we will have both the columns from e2020 table first and then 2021 table Okay, so let me run this. Okay, so now if you see for employee ID 4, so these three employees were common in both the tables, right? So we have all the data. So this is the 20 designation and this is 21 designation for 1, 2, 3, right? Now for 4, if you see this guy was there in 20 but not in 21. So for him, this is null, right? Again, for employee ID 5, we don't have any data for 20, only 21 right so now what we will do we will write a case statement so very important okay before i write the case statement straight away we don't need those those employees whose designation is same right so straight away what can i say i don't need this i can say e20 dot designation not equal to e21 dot 
resignation right so if i say this what should happen instead of five rows we should have four rows right this row should not come right but there is a problem i will show you what let me run this the expected rows are four but it is not four so you see only two rows okay do you know what is the issue the issue is when i say not equal to we cannot compare null with nulls in previous videos i have told this many times we cannot compare null with null so when you are saying e20 resignation designation not equal to e21 designation so these values are not qualifying because these are not comparable if you say designation equal to designation then also it will not qualify if you say not equal to then also it will not qualify because they are not comparable so these two rows are not coming right so what i can do what i can do i can do a is null i can handle null so i will say if it is null take it as some value some constant value arbitrary value again if this is null then take some other value okay so at least x x x will be compared to y y y and those two values will not be equal and we will get the rows so now we will get the four rows we got the four rows now the employee id 2 is gone right okay now we are going to write our case statement to drive the comment column so i will say case when now it is simple if i say case when e20 dot designation right not equal to e21 dot designation then i will say promote it right so i'm saying if designate so i'm assuming that if designation is changes it is a promotion because i'm assuming there is no demotion in the in the company okay so this is we handle the first case now when now i'm saying if the designation from right table is null right when there is no designation from right table then it means this employee has resigned because he is not present in the e21 table that's why it is coming null right right else the employee is new so this is our third category and as comment okay i can write instead of else i can write this condition also if e20 dot designation is null then new that also i can say it is same thing but we have only one condition left so i'm writing else right so if i run this now i got the four rows promoted promote this person is resigned and the this person is new now the problem is we need a employee id column in the output right so let me take employee id only okay now for these two records we i mean if I take this employee ID, the problem is one is null. So what can I do? I can just use is null again here. Is null. So if this is null, take this value, right? As emp underscore ID. So is null what this do? If this first value is null, then take this value. So whenever it will see null, it will put five here and we will get the desired output. So we have the output now we don't have employee id2 we have four employees and we have everything so we achieved it using full out to join in a single query okay so i hope this was useful very important video try it yourself i will put the insert statement in description box and please do like the video so that it will reach more people thanks for watching have a good day